Most people on Instagram or TikTok use a LinkedIn bio or a similar service to create a page where they can showcase their products or services. And I'm here to tell you that that is the worst possible solution. And if you don't believe me, here are seven reasons on why having a website is much better than a LinkedIn bio, Linktree or any other similar service. Let's talk about that. So the first disadvantage of using a LinkedIn bio service versus a website is that you're building your entire business on someone else's platform. Think about it. You don't control LinkedIn bio, Linktree or any other service that you're planning to use to build your business. And what can happen is that their website can go down, which has happened in the past. They can go out of business. They can shut down. They can change their terms of service. They can change their pricing models and they can do anything with their platform, which might not be suitable to your goals and your business. But ultimately, you'll have to suck it up because that's what you have to do because you don't control the platform. But if you build a website, especially using WordPress, WordPress is an open source platform. That means the entire source code is available for free for you to download and no one company actually controls the platform. So even if the parent company behind WordPress goes out of business for some reason, WordPress will still continue to exist. Your website will still continue to exist and some other company will pick up the pieces and WordPress will continue to grow and thrive and your business and website will completely remain unaffected by any of these events. The second reason why having a website is much better than Linktree or LinkedIn bio is because of the lack of design options that these services offers. Now, many people sign up for LinkedIn bio or other services and they find out they have 20 templates to choose from and they're delighted, elated that, wow, they have so many design choices. But let me tell you, if you build your own website, you have literally unlimited options because let's say, for example, if you decide to use Seedprod, which is a page builder that we create, you have many, many templates to choose from. But what you can also do is create a completely customized page that matches your brand, your personality and the niche you're in. You literally have unlimited designs to choose from. Sure, using a LinkedIn bio is much more convenient and maybe a little bit faster if you don't have any design skills. But that also means that your page looks exactly like thousands of other pages that already exist. And who wants that? The third reason why LinkedIn bios are an inferior solution is because of lack of content management features. Let me explain. When you use a LinkedIn bio, technically you get to create one page with just some links. And that's not enough. What if you want to add another page talking about the details of your services? Not possible. How about creating drafts that you can edit later? Nope. How about having a media gallery to store images? Nada. Revision control on pages? Nope, non-existent. You get the idea. There are many limitations when it comes to optimizing, organizing, storing, managing content that goes on a LinkedIn bio page. But if you build a website with WordPress, there are no such limitations. First, you can create unlimited pages and link them together. So you can have a main LinkedIn bio like page and then have it link out to other detailed pages for your products and services that you offer through your website. You can also upload and organize hundreds of images and you can easily switch out images from any of the pages that you like. You can also create drafts or multiple versions of a page and then switch them out as you like. So if you're running a special promotion or want to implement a design for a limited time, for example, Christmas, then you can design the page well in advance and then switch it out in a few clicks instead of completely redesigning the page from scratch every time you want to make a change on your website. The fourth disadvantage and a huge one in my opinion is the lack of lead capture and e-commerce features on any LinkedIn bio service. Let me explain. So ultimately, if you're using a LinkedIn bio service, you're promoting something. Either it's yourself, your business, your products or your services. But if you just want to do that, then you still have to use external services to accomplish even just the basic stuff. For example, if you want to capture any emails using a LinkedIn bio page, that's not possible. You'll have to connect to an external email service provider or a lead magnet solution or any other solution that helps you do that. What if you want to sell an ebook? You can't do that. You still have to connect to some other service that will allow you to do that. What if you want people to sign up to your newsletter? Well, you can't do that unless you connect to another external service that will help you do that. So ultimately, the point is that if you still have to use so many other services to just do the basics to run your business or promote your business, then is using LinkedIn bio worth it when you can accomplish that and much more if you have your own website. So let's say you decide to ditch LinkedIn bio and created your own website. And now you want to accomplish all the things that I was talking about. How will you do it? Let me explain. Let's say you want to capture email leads. You can use a product like Optin Monster to create leads, create lead magnets, promote lead magnets and do a lot more on your website easily. What if you want to send out emails from your website? Well, you can use a product like WP Mail SMTP to set up an SMTP service and then start sending out emails directly from your website. What about e-commerce? If you want to sell eBooks or digital products, there's easy digital downloads which you can install for free on your website and start selling or even promoting free lead magnets that you can use to promote your business. What about storing your customer's information like a CRM? Well, you can use FunnelKit to have a complete CRM setup on your website. 
You can also use FunnelKit to create sales funnels and business automations that'll help you manage your business much easier. I can go on and give you tens of other examples, but the simple idea is that when you use a link in bio, you still have to use external services to accomplish even the basic stuff that you need to run and operate your business. But that's not the case with your website because everything you want to do in your business can be done and accomplished on your website. So that's the advantage for you. The next advantage that websites offer over LinkedIn bio services is analytics and tracking. Let me explain. When you use a LinkedIn bio or similar service, they don't give you any actionable data about what is happening on the page. The max amount of data they'll give you is how many people actually visited the page, but that's not very useful at all. So think about this. You're creating all that content. You're creating reels, you're creating stories, you're creating posts, all in the hopes that people will discover your content, go to your profile, go to your LinkedIn bio, and ultimately will become leads or customers. So you're spending all that effort bringing people in, but you still don't know anything about those people. So all that effort is being put in to just bring people to the LinkedIn bio page, but not enough effort is being put in to just understand what those people want or even convert those people into customers. That's where a website gives you tons of advantages. Let me talk about that. When you have a website, you can integrate your website with many tracking solutions that will help you understand what's happening on the site, who is visiting website, what are they trying to accomplish, and ultimately what are they doing on the page so you can actually close those people or convert them into leads and customers. For example, a leading tracking solution for websites is Google Analytics. You cannot use it with LinkedIn bio, but if you want to use Google Analytics on your WordPress website, all you have to do is use Monster Insights. It's free. It'll set up Google Analytics for you instantly and start giving you actionable data about what people are doing, what pages are they visiting, and how are they consuming the content on your LinkedIn bio or your website page. Similarly, if you want to retarget visitors who visit a certain portion of your website, a certain page of your website with paid ads, you have no such option on a LinkedIn bio page. But with your website, all you have to do is install Google Tag Manager, install some retargeting pixels. You can install the Google AdWords remarketing pixel, the Facebook pixel, the Pinterest pixel, all those pixels. And using those pixels, you'll be able to retarget the people who visit a certain portion of your website because you know that they're interested in a certain product or service and close more business. If you're a really advanced user, you can even use heat maps to understand where people are actually scrolling through on the page and understand the products and services that they're most interested in. And all you have to do is use all-in-one SEO as it integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Clarity and you can install Microsoft Clarity on your website in just a few clicks and start generating data about what people are actually doing on the page so you can understand and serve their needs better. The next big advantage of using websites over LinkedIn bio is the ability to perform search engine optimization on your pages. Now think about it this way. The ultimate goal of creating a LinkedIn bio page is that you can get traffic on it, specifically targeted traffic. And the best way to get targeted traffic to your website is actually search engine optimization, which helps you bring targeted traffic, exact people who are searching for certain things to your website. But none of the LinkedIn bio services offer any SEO features, completely zero. You cannot change the title of the page. You cannot add any metadata to the page. You cannot even alter or add a lot of content in any case. You cannot add open graph tags, schema data, or anything else that makes for a really, really optimized post. But that all changes when you build a website. When you create a website instead of just a link in bio, then you have the opportunity to create multiple pages. And then you can optimize each of those pages for SEO or search engine traffic. Using a simple tool like All-in-One SEO, you can design pages completely, change the titles, add metadata, add open graph tags, add schema data. That means you can get rich results in the search results with star ratings, pricing information, and all that good stuff that'll help you click through it and get targeted traffic. And of course, you can create all those pages in a way that they are mobile friendly. So you can use those individual pages as a LinkedIn bio in itself, or you can create a LinkedIn bio page specifically and then link out to all those pages for different services or products that you offer, giving you the best of both worlds compared to a LinkedIn bio. So let's talk about the last advantage websites have over LinkedIn bio websites, and that's the ability to extend the features of the website using plugins. When you sign up for a LinkedIn bio service, you do get a certain set of features and well, that's it. You cannot extend those features or add new features unless the company behind the service decides to add them to the website. But that's not the case with when you build a website with WordPress because WordPress has a massive ecosystem of plugins, themes, and other products that you can use to extend the website in meaningful, effective, and powerful ways. Just on the WordPress repository, you have thousands, literally thousands of plugins that you can install on your website. And of course, you have third-party plugin developers as well who create powerful, powerful plugins for websites using which you can extend the functionality of your website anytime, anywhere, anyhow you like. 
You can add pop-ups for email capture, live chat, social proof, interactive forms, animations, graphs, charts, and a lot more on a website utilizing the power of plugins. A link in bio doesn't even come close. So those were my seven reasons on why I would prefer a website instead of a link in bio. What is your opinion? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you're sold on building a website instead of using a link in bio, here's a video on how to create your website. And here's a video on how to create a link in bio page in WordPress. Both are very easy to follow. So make sure to catch those videos. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you're interested in videos like this. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching WBNR. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.